Hello, everyone. I'm Lynn Hunsaker with Clear Action Continuum. Welcome to this Friday Flash. Today, we're talking about how to toggle across partner levels for anyone you're interacting with internally or externally. This is part of our Smoothing Silos series, exploring solutions to things in business that should be connected but aren't. Silos cause gaps in customers' ease of doing business and in employees' ease of work. By solving these gaps, trust is increased, waste is decreased, and value grows organically. Partnering levels impacts assumption silos, goal silos, and handoff silos. And when you step back and think about it, these silos are foundational to all the rest. In fact, if you have the best technology to address the operation silos, you're going to find that these execution silos either help or hinder the efficacy of those technologies. Why are these silos so important today in customer experience, marketing, customer success, and customer care? Because all of these roles are uh, stewards of customer intelligence. And as such, they play a significant role in the company as a whole being nimble to shift on a dime, so to speak, as things change rapidly in the marketplace. We're in the midst of such a change now, and we're finding a much greater hunger among all the other functional areas in the company to understand what's going on with customers, to adapt what they're doing. This is healthy. This is the type of cult culture that we want to uh, nurture and to maintain, to keep a, a close uh, pulse on what's going on with customers and to continually adapt the way that we run our business and our daily decision making. This is why silo bridging is so important to these particular roles. In the I will tell you partner level, you're providing deliverables to whoever you're interacting with. We'll call them your internal or external clients who are relatively passive as you're uh, producing these, uh, this value for them. Uh, on the left-hand side, these labels are not specifically job roles. They are partnering modes that you may be in for whatever your job is, is at the time. Now, in many marketing, customer experience, customer care, and customer success roles, we are in fact in the administrator, implementer, tech expert, or educator mode with whoever we're interacting with. And this may be healthy and uh, necessary for many of the things that we do. But we may want to consider how do we navigate to other levels as needed or as appropriate to be of the greatest value for our clients and our investors and other stakeholders across the company. In the second partnering level, it's I will guide you. And so here you're finding yourself in a facilitator, influencer, or problem solver modes. On the third level, it's let's create together. So your client is fully engaged and you're a strategist or a coach in uh, jointly guiding the success of what you're trying to achieve. In more situations today, customer intelligence stewards need to be migrating and excelling in the P3 level. Let's do a quick exercise. Create a matrix where in the left-hand column, you have all of the people that you're interfacing with now. In the second column, make note of which partnering level you're engaging with them now. In the third column, make a note of why you're engaging with them at that partnering level. In the, in the next column, um, brainstorm reasons why you might want to change your partnering level with them in the near future. It could be based on certain triggers or circumstances or what you would see as being more valuable to them or more appropriate to achieve the goals overall. Take a moment to uh, think about that and how you would maybe make that switch to the other partnering level as needed. To toggle across partner levels, keep in mind the trust dynamics that are inherent to each. In P1, reliability and credibility are essential. Make sure you understand how others perceive you and increase the elements shown here to excel in P1. For P2, the degree to which people feel that you're focused on them instead of yourself is essential. And in P3, the degree to which 
people feel that you are discreet and empathetic to them is the hallmark of success. In next week's Friday Flash, we'll talk more about these trust dynamics and how they fit into these six trust profiles. You can learn more about partnering levels, trust dynamics, smoothing silos, and related topics in the Clear Action Value Exchange, geared specifically to marketing, customer experience, customer success, and customer care roles. The Clear Action Value Exchange shows customer intelligence stewards how to influence organizational agility, internal and external alignment, and stakeholder accountability at the interpersonal, department, and enterprise levels. An array of formats makes it easy to pop in and find nuggets of wisdom to elevate performance that will increase ease of doing business and ease of work. Join us today in the Clear Action Value Exchange.